Elon Musk says his next product will be most important Tesla has ever produced. And he says it's finally almost here. But will he finally make good on six years of promises? Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time in our channel, please welcome and give us thumbs up. If you like the story which I'm about to tell you and subscribe to our channel. So Elon Musk said in a social media post this week that Tesla's long awaited robo taxi service will roll onto the streets of Austin, Texas on June 22nd. The Tesla CEO is betting the company's future on autonomous vehicles. I will probably refer them as AV in the future and the robo taxi service, which will hopefully inject much needed cash just as the company's sales and profits are slumping. While Musk is championing the promise of robo taxis, self-driving cars without a driver that can ferry around paying passengers, there are concerns about both safety and their viability as a business. Yes, this is very serious. Serious. There are uh, concerns about their viability as a business and safety. CNN's Chris Isidore notes that traditional automakers like General Motors, for example, have already abandoned plans for a similar service despite spending billions, blaming the considerable resources needed and an increasingly competitive robotaxi market. Ford dropped its uh, AV, like I said, autonomous vehicle efforts altogether. You see, traditional companies are dropping their efforts. But even with their exit, some experts say the real competition for Tesla are the human drivers of Uber and Lyft. Here's a quote. The challenge is less technological and more economic, said Brian Walker-Smith, an affiliated scholar at the Center for Internet and Society at Stanford Law School, an expert in autonomous vehicles. He says, if a company that needs to pay engineers and mechanics and uh, remote assistants has to compete with Uber drivers who might be making less than minimum wage to maintain their own older vehicle, that's kind of hard to do. Uh, by the way, if you are an Uber driver, or if you know much, could you please let us know in the comments how much do they generally make? Minimum wage? Now, none of that has stopped Elon Musk from making outsized projections about how the technology could reshape Tesla and the world. Here's another quote I want to share with you. I don't see anyone being able to compete with Tesla at present, Musk said during April's earning call about why he believes Tesla's robotaxi service will succeed. He said, but at least as far as I'm aware, Tesla will have, I don't know, 99% market share or something ridiculous. Musk cautioned in his social media post that the June 22nd date was tentative. It's not just June 27th, it's the 22nd, it's tentative. Whenever it does kick off, though, Tesla will be playing catch up to far more established services. There are real robotaxis on the road today. None of them is a Tesla, said Smith, which I quoted just a moment ago. That includes Google's Waymo, which is already providing 250,000 paid rides a week in four US cities, San Francisco, Los Angeles, which you recently saw in the news, Phoenix and Austin. Companies in China also have active robotaxi services and I've covered them at Talk News YouTube channel. You can search for them and look. Google parent Alphabet does not disclose the financial performance of its AV unit, Vimo, um, autonomous vehicle unit. But the segment of the company that includes Vimo reported a 4.1 billion loss last year, even as Alphabet poured in $5.6 billion, according to CNN report. That loss is little more than a rounding error for a company that reported net income of $100 billion. In contrast, Tesla last year reported net income of $7 billion, down 53% from 2023. 
Vimo or Vimo, I honestly don't know, which began as a paid service in 2020, is growing rapidly with rideship up more than 50% in the last six months. Last month, it announced that its 1,500 vehicles had logged, logged more than 10 million paid rides up from 5 million rides through the end of last year. Uber, which has a partnership with Waymo in Austin, plans to expand the alliance into Atlanta next year. Uber CEO Dara Khosrov Shahid told a Bloomberg Technology Forum last week that while he expects the company to rely on human drivers for years into the future, he sees a growing role for robot taxis. He said, we want to help these players develop by investing in them in some cases and really by working with them to bring their product to market, he said. This is a warning sign for Uber uh, drivers. Guys, you probably need to think what you're going to do in the next five to ten years. He continued saying, these are technologies that are unbelievably promising, but they've taken billions of dollars to develop. It's one of those overnight success that has taken 20 years of development, but it's finally ready to hit the market and we want to help that ecosystem get there. That's what he said. Friends, for years after automated elevators were invented, building owners paid to have human elevator operators because people were worried about riding in an elevator without one. Did you know that? Robot taxis could face similar safety concerns, experts say. Smith said he has seen people grow comfortable with robot taxis after giving them a try, even though it's too early to say whether the driverless cars are safer than ones with a person at the wheel. Here's another quote I want to share with you. I often see people are really nervous about it getting in a robot taxi, and then they get in. And within literally minutes, they're on their phones and they're checked out. It's normal, he said. We quickly tend to trust the technology because technology works great on our cell phones. Technology works great in our uh, laptops and so on. This is why we quickly trust them. Tesla's current self-driving technology, known as full self-driving or FSD, uses just cameras, not radar or lasers known as LIDAR or LIDAR maybe, to detect obstacles in front of them. Elon Musk has mocked the idea of LIDAR, which is used on Vimo and some other self-driving cars riding on X in March, quote, people don't shoot lasers out of their eyes to drive. Just try Tesla self-driving today, which just uses cameras and AI, and you will understand. Honestly, I have test-driven Tesla Model Y with FSD, and I really like them. I had only one intervention. He continues describing LiDAR as expensive sensors that are unnecessary and freaking stupid. I don't like using these types of wordings at any way. While not using LiDAR gives Tesla Robo Taxi a cost advantage over Vimo, many experts consider LiDAR safer to detect obstacles, including people in the road. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has announced several investigations into the safety of Tesla's FSD, including a fatal accident in which a car using the feature hit and killed a pedestrian. This is obviously very sad, and my heart goes out to them. The car used FSD experienced a crush after entering an area of reduced roadway visibility from conditions such as sun glare, fog, or airborne dust, said the agency's statement about that particular probe. Smith said that those real-world experiences show the problem with using just cameras for detection. So it looks like the industry is leaning toward that they need more than cameras to make these those detections. Okay, here's a quote I want to share with you. I think this is from Smith. He said, if you could enable drivers to have lasers shooting out their eyes to avoid sun glare and things, it would be a good thing, he said, Smith. Tesla needs a turnaround. The company has experienced plunging sales and profits, including its first drop in annual sales last year 
and its biggest drop in quarterly sales, thanks to, in part, um, uh, to uh, backlash against Elon Musk's political activities. CNN's Isidore reports, on which I'm making these reports, and I will have the link in the description of this video, you can see. Now, friends, Tesla stock, which hit a record high in mid-December on expectations that Elon Musk's close ties to President Donald Trump would lead to Tesla friendly policies, have plunged 30% since then. What do you make of that? Elon Musk and his uh, supporters on Wall Street are convinced that Tesla will soon explode in value due to its autonomous vehicle capabilities and future robotaxi service, largely because self-driving robotaxis can operate more hours in a day than human driver. I think this will be the largest asset value increase in human history, Elon Musk told investors in January. Do you agree with this statement? Do you think this is the largest increase in value in human history? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, friends. Tesla did not respond to requests for comments for this report from CNN. Musk has repeatedly projected that the service will change life on the planet by radically reordering how people move around while Tesla owners rent out their cars for the robotaxi service to generate a cash return. If you're a Tesla owner, do you hope one day you will generate cash from your robotaxi? Please let us know in the comment section below as well. But the Tesla CEO has been promising that his robotaxi service was a year away since at least 2019, according to CNN, only to fall short of those ambitious targets. GLJ research analyst Gordon Johnson predicts Tesla's robotaxi launch this month will be more flash than substance. He says, this is a Tesla proof of concept exercise, not a rollout or a testing of a uh, commercial asset for sale. Johnson, a longtime critic of Tesla, wrote in a note to clients Tuesday. And Smith doubts Musk will be able to live up to his current promises any better than in the past ones. He says, for example, I do not know why anyone refers to things, he says, with any measure of credibility, uh, credulity, said Smith. When we're talking about the future, it's important to recognize that the future is not one that Tesla has demonstrated itself able to deliver. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com filing this report based on uh, CNN's report, the link of which I will have in the description of this video. If you like and found this interesting, please like this video, share in social media, and let us know in the comment section. Let's have a discussion. Do you think Tesla will have a serious rollout of Robotaxis on uh, June 22nd? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and visit us at torquenews.com for daily automotive and electric vehicle news. God bless you, everyone. See you soon in our next report.